That what certainly is a beautiful camera. Look at that lens. Um, they know, right? Thanks. <laughs> what do you What do you need? Uh, just uh, if you want to start with your name and just tell me about yourself and the kinds of stories that you tell. Um, my Oneida name is Dick Fukuyate. Mm -hmm. uh, my um, IRS tax name is Brian Duxtainer. Um Stories, mostly animal stories, Oneida stories. Mm -hmm. Creation stories, stuff like that. How things came to be. Okay. Do you have a short story you can tell us now? <laughs> How short? Five minutes short? A five minutes short story? Or shorter, yeah. Do <coughs> um, you have any interest in an animal? I sure do. Which one? How about a wolf? A wolf? Okay. Um, it's about seven or eight minutes long if that's okay. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> Um, wolves represent family. So, for Oneida, there are three clans. There's Turtle Clan, Wolf Clan, and Bear Clan. And the wolf are the pathfinders, they're the leaders, but they also represent the importance of family. So this is a story that kind of represents that part. So, um, a long time ago, there's a small boy, and both his, his mother and his father had died. And so he was given to his aunt. Now in our language, when you greet your mother, you say, Segona. And when you greet your aunt, you say, Segona. It's the same word, because they carry the same responsibilities over each other's children. So this aunt, she didn't have children of her own. So she didn't really know how to raise him in a good way. So in the morning when the sun rose, she would prepare a meal for him to eat. And then she'd say, it's time for you to go out in those woods. And you stay out there all day long so you're not in the way of all the work to be done. And so he would go out into the woods. And she told him, when the sun starts to go down, it's time to come back, time to eat, time to go to bed. And he would be out there in the woods playing all by himself. And he'd have such a good time that the sun would almost be down and he would remember that he was supposed to go home. So he'd run back to the longhouse as fast as he could and he's tired and he's hungry and he wants something to eat and his aunt would say, no, you weren't here when the meal was prepared and so he'd have to go to bed, tired and hungry. Well, the next morning he would get up again and she would have a meal prepared for him and give him those same instructions, you know, go out into those woods and stay out there all day long. So you're not in the way of all the work to be done. Well, one day he was out in those woods and um, he was dry and he wanted some water. And so he knew where the stream was. And when he got to the stream, there was a whole pack, a family of wolves. And they were playing in the water. And they were having a really good time. And that little boy, he liked what he saw. And so he stared at them for a very long time. But as he's staring at them, he's getting closer and closer and closer. Well, before long, that little boy is playing with the wolves and they liked him. And so they took him deeper into those woods and they played with him and they taught him things. And they fed him when he was hungry and gave him water when he was dry. And they watched over him and they protected him when he went to sleep. So the next morning, that woman in that longhouse all of a sudden remembered that little boy. And he had been gone all night long. And she was angry and furious that he had run away from the home. So she went outside and she called his name and she called his name and she called his name. And he was sleeping with those wolves and he heard his name being called and he was happy because it was the first time his aunt had ever spoke his name. So he ran back to the longhouse as fast as he could and when he got back she beat him real hard and real bad. And then she put him to bed as part of his punishment for running away from the home. So about three or four days had passed and that little boy he was out in those woods and he had climbed this real tall tree and he was on top of the tree looking around 
and all of a sudden a whole pack, a family of wolves, they ran by that tree. But they remembered him, so they came back to get him, because they liked him. And again, they took him deeper into those woods. They played with him, and they taught him things. Whenever he was hungry, they would feed him. Whenever he was dry, they gave him water. And when he went to sleep, they watched over him, and they protected him. Well, again, about three or four days later, that woman in that longhouse all of a sudden remembered that little boy. And again, she was angry and furious that he had again run away from the home. So she went outside and she called his name and she called his name and again he was sleeping with those wolves and he heard his name being called. And he was happy because he was wanted back in his home. He ran back to the longhouse as fast as he could and when he got back, again she beat him even worse than before. And again she put him to bed as part of his punishment for running away from the home. So now it's the time of the year when the corn is at its highest and all the longhouse people, they harvest this corn and that little boy is left home alone. And one day he walked outside of the longhouse and there at the edge of the woods is a whole pack, a family of wolves and they came to get him because winter was coming because they liked him and so they took him up into the mountains and all winter long they played with him, they taught him things. Whenever he was hungry, they would feed him. Whenever he was dry, they gave him water. And all winter long, they watched over him and they protected him. So it's the time of the year now when creation is starting over again and everything is coming up new. And for some reason, that woman in that longhouse all of a sudden remembered that little boy. And she was angry and furious that he had been gone for such a very long time. She went outside and she called his name and she called his name and all day long she called his name and all night long she called his name. And in the morning when the sun began to rise and she was still out there calling his name, a whole pack, a family of wolves came out of the woods and a little bitty puppy walked up to her and he smiled and he turned around and he went back to his family. And his family, they played with that puppy. They taught him things. Whenever he was hungry, they would feed him. Whenever he was dry, they gave him water. And all his life, they watched over him. They protected him. Donnie. Awesome. Thanks. Sure. Can't produce it or sell it though.